the island of Madagascar. Many of you will probably know it as the home of lemurs, or that movie from the 2000s, but we will not talk about that right now. In prehistoric times, the island was home to a menagerie of dinosaurs and other animals. During the Cretaceous period, these animals included a cannibal lizard, a devil's frog, and a vegan crocodile. Madagascar was not an island in the beginning. It was part of the southern continent of Gondwana, a supercontinent that was made of South America, Africa, Antarctica, Australia, and India. When the continent started breaking apart, the island separated from India about 88 million years ago during the Cretaceous period. Its fauna was very distinct from other places in the world. Here are some examples of the island's wildlife. A Jungasaurus was the first dinosaur to be found on the island. It was discovered by a French army officer and later sent to France where paleontologist Charles de Perret described it in 1896. The fossils were some teeth and pieces of bone. It would take till 1955 for a complete skeleton to be discovered and for the dinosaur to receive its modern name. A Jungasaurus was an abelisaur, a clade of theropod dinosaurs that were characterized by stocky legs, diminutive arms, even smaller than tyrannosaurs and short skulls. The Jungasaurus measured 7 meters in length and weighed about 1,500 kilograms. Like a typical abelisaur, it had strong legs and useless wimpy arms. Its head was adorned by a single horn, which purpose is unknown as it was too small to be used as a weapon. It was a top predator of the island, preying not only on other dinosaurs but on his own. Bones from the tail of one specimen show gouges and grooves on them. The marks match Majungasaurus's teeth. The simplest explanation is that other Majungasaurus attacked and proceed to eat it. Komodo dragons are known to quarrel over carcasses, in which usually one gets killed and the victor eats the loser. Majungasaurus may have done the same. Its main source of prey was the sauropod Rapetosaurus. Discovered in 2001, the skeleton corresponded to a juvenile which measured 8 meters in length. The adult probably measured 15 meters long. It was the largest herbivore of the island. It fed on conifers and it probably roamed in large herds for protection against predators. Other smaller dinosaurs lived by the shadow of these giants. One of them was Masakasaurus, a 2 meter long carnivore with a peculiar skull. Its teeth projected forward almost like a saw. It is unique among other theropods. It is believed that it was a fish eater. Another small inhabitant of the island was Rahonavis. A dromaeosaur, it was related to the more famous Velociraptor. It was in the middle ground between dinosaur and bird, measuring 70 meters long and weighing less than one kilogram. It was lightly feathered and some argue could fly. It might have preyed on insects and small lizards and amphibians. Dinosaurs shared the island with many other creatures, including reptiles, amphibians, and mammals. One prominent group were the crocodilians, with three different species living on the island. The largest was Mahangangasuchus. It is known from a single skull. It is estimated it measures 5 meters long. Its robust head and conical teeth suggest a huge bite force, meaning it preyed on large animals like sauropods instead of fish. Probably scavenging his kills was Araripesuchus, a small croc that measured one meter long, adapted to a life on the ground. Its fossils have been found in South America and Africa, showing it was quite common. Its diet was probably made out of dinosaur hatchlings and small mammals. The last croc was an oddity. Its name was Cymosuchus. Measuring one meter long, it was covered in scaly plates and had a short tail. It had a blunt snout with a mouth full of maple leaf shaped teeth. It has been suggested it was a herbivore owing to the fact that it might have adopted to eat ferns to avoid competition with the many flesh eaters that shared its world. Its plates were tightly packed and formed literal shields which might have served as protection against smaller predators. About the amphibians of the island, one stood out. Discovered in 2008, its remains showed a giant frog about the size of the modern African bullfrog. It was named Belzebufo, meaning Toad of Beelzebub, and because of this, it is informally known as the Devil Frog. In appearance, it resembled horned frogs from South America. It is thought it preyed on dinosaur hatchlings. 
And last but not least is Vintana. Discovered in 2014, it was a mammal that resembled a large groundhog. It was larger than other mammals of the Mesozoic, weighing more than 9 kilos, being the third largest mammal of the time of the dinosaurs. Its skull showed it had keen senses such as smell and big eye sockets. With so many predators, it might have lived on constant alert. As we have seen, the island was home to a wide array of creatures, but like everything in the Mesozoic, it was all doomed. Most of these animals lived in the last stages of the Cretaceous period in a sick world, soon to suffer a cataclysm like never before seen on Earth's history. But other amazing animals will occupy the dinosaur's place, the mammals, and in the next millions of years, they will evolve into impressive forms and leave a mark on our world. But that's a story for another day. Thanks for watching. If you will consider subscribing, well, that might be a good idea. Obviously, hit the notification bell because for some reason subscribing is not enough. I thank you all for watching my video and have a nice day.